For justice, they said. They got their weapon. I got cheated out of my childhood. I know what that's like. You do, don't you? I don't want people to be worried about me. There's nothing to worry about. I don't want people to try and understand why I am the way I am. Because I should be the first person to understand that. And I don't understand yet. that are always meant to be together. Sometimes it takes time, sometimes it takes a parallel universe or something. But the thing about twin flames is that nothing can keep them apart. None of it is real. It was all an illusion. Don't you fucking touch me! Go! Get up! Go fucking get up! Please stop! Please stop it! Go! Please get up! All eyes on me, little life of a thug nigga until the day I die. Little life of a boss player. All eyes on me. I got everything I wanted, but when I wake up, I see you with me. And you say, As long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Don't wanna lie here, but you 
can learn to If I could change the way that you see yourself Anybody who's ever gone through depression would tell you that it's not just something in your mind, but rather it's something you feel in your body. As much as it's in your head, it's also in your stomach. Having anxiety and depression is like being scared and tired at the same time. It's the fear of failure, but no urge to be productive. It's wanting friends, but hate socializing. It's wanting to be alone, but not wanting to be lonely. It's feeling everything at once, then feeling paralyzing numb. This is a picture of what anxiety and depression at times feels like. Yet what I'm learning more and more in life is that, that it's fear that causes anxiety. What exactly is going on here? A Huguenot by the Pre-Raphaelite painter Sir John Everett Millet shows two young lovers in 16th century costume locked in a tender embrace. But as we pull our eyes away from their faces and towards the protagonist's hands, we realize that there is so much more to the story. The painting depicts a real historical event, namely the slaughter of 3,000 French Protestants, the Huguenots, by the Roman Catholics in Paris in August of 1572, now known as St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre. A very small number of Huguenots were able to escape by wearing white armbands, a symbol of allegiance to Roman Catholicism. Here, we see the girl attempting to tie a white armband around her beloved's left arm, in a desperate attempt to save his life. As he cradles her head and embraces the girl, he also gently pulls against the white armband. He is intent on removing the identifier of Roman Catholicism that would protect him from harm during the imminent massacre. So the figures tightly intertwine with one another while simultaneously pulling in opposite directions. And this tension is the tragedy of this painting. We are seeing two star-crossed and ill-fated lovers. And suddenly we understand the depth of their expressions. The woman's expression communicates desperate pleading, fear and grief. While the Huguenot gazes down at her with a soft smile of love, of unwavering intent and of reassurance. The painting is so much more than a romantic embrace. It is about a man's impossible struggle as he chooses between his love and his faith. And most tragic of all, the girl knows what he has chosen and is aware of his subsequent fate. Painting to represent depression. You have no idea how many times I've been asked to do this. And to be honest, I've been putting it off for a really long time. Not because I don't want to give people a platform that suffer with depression, but more that I wanted to find something that meant a bit more than just talking about the condition itself. Because let's face it, we all know what depression looks like. Whether it creeps up on you now and again, or whether it's something you experience every day, I really don't need to tell you what it's like to not want to get out of bed. And when I got the brief for this painting, it was just what I've been waiting for, a way to represent how we rise above depression. This painting is simply called Rise, and if you haven't guessed it already, is based on the mythical creature, the Phoenix. In Greek mythology, the Phoenix represents resurrection and life after death. And while we 
don't need to go that deep. One thing I found particularly fascinating is how the Phoenix comes to its demise. So the Phoenix simply burns out. It literally bursts into flames and self-destructs before becoming an egg of ash to which it's reborn again. Now, I don't know about you guys, but any depressive stage I've been through has been brought on by stress, burnout, and putting too much pressure on myself in life. But I'm one of the lucky ones. When I'm feeling down, it's normally just a phase and I can rise from the ashes and find my fire again. I bet there's a few piles of ash out there watching this video right now. And if that's you, I simply say this. You might feel completely alone right now, totally hopeless with no joy or aspirations towards anything. And you know what? That's okay. Life can be shit and it's always going to find a way to keep pushing you back and holding you down. But remember, like the Phoenix, you can and you will rise again.